My name is Dr. Peter Murawski. Uh, I'm a research assistant member at the Ben Arroyo Research Institute here in Seattle, Washington. Uh, my project uh, is to focus on understanding the connection between immune cells called T cells in the skin and how they drive different aspects of healthy or diseased skin. Next, I'm going to ask for you to kind of build on what you just started to kind of dig into, but describe for us in very basic um, or layman's terms for a patient population, why your research is so exciting for people who are living with scleroderma. What we've learned in the last few years because of some really cool technological developments is that there's this incredible amount of diversity in our skin. And it's so much more complex than we thought it was. But we really don't understand the immune signals that drive that complexity. And so what we're really hoping to get after in this project is to understand what are the specific immune cell populations that are driving this complexity. And if we can understand that, then you can sort of figure out in healthy or a diseased uh, piece of skin, what actually is is driving these disease processes and that's really important uh, because we can start to then tailor you know drug regimens and understand you know what chemical interventions or drug interventions might be helpful uh, to to get at some of these these issues what would you say is a particularly innovative aspect of this project okay so i think this is really cool we are using uh, what's called three-dimensional engineered skin so a lot of times in the lab you know you think of cells growing on you know a flat piece of plastic you know in a petri dish or something like that and those are very useful models you can do a lot of things very quickly with those but to try to get after something more physiologic more relevant to the human situation we've actually designed this sort of like jello mold of human skin where you have this three-dimensional structure that you can embed cells into and then start to ask with actual you know real sort of skin-like architecture what's happening in this situation and so we think that's really innovative and uh, and gives us an opportunity to ask some really important questions with a better and more physiological system um so if you had to kind of boil it down to one sentence. What is the most important question you're hoping to answer with this project? What we're most interested in finding out is what are the specific hubs of immune cell interaction with the skin that drive disease processes? If we can figure that out, we can start to develop a roadmap for how to reverse some of those disease processes through immune mediated pathways in order to, to move forward towards potential cures. Um, what got you interested at looking at this in scleroderma? Uh, I have a lifelong interest in studying autoimmune disease. I'm really fascinated with why is it that sometimes the body knows how to respond to a, a virus or a bacteria and kick it out, and other times it turns around and starts attacking self tissue. And I think that the things that are happening at the tissue are really, really important. And, uh, and the skin is the, is the organ that protects us from the whole outside world. And one of the diseases that we study here at the Benaroy Research Institute is scleroderma. And so it pr pr provided a really excellent opportunity to study how the immune system worked uh, in this really devastating disease. And, and so I am really excited for the opportunity to work on it, but also appreciate that this is something that affects a lot of people in a really severe way. And offering some insight towards how to improve the lives of those people is really, really important. So building on that, how do you see this work potentially impacting the field of scleroderma? Scleroderma is a, it's a really funny thing. It's, it, it's so, there's so much complexity and the way that the disease presents in people looks so different. And so understanding that complexity is really important. And what we're hoping is that by identifying the individual components of the immune system that might drive different pieces of disease, you can then try to unravel some of that complexity. I think that's really sort of one of the most important things we can do where, you know, when you have so much complexity and the disease looks so different from person to person, it can be really difficult to treat. So if we can have more tailored, more specific strategies for dealing with this, I think that that'll go a long way towards making people's lives better. What do you see yourself working on 10 years from now? In 10 years from now. Wow. Um, I hope that with the ongoing technological advances that we are able to 
really recreate aspects of healthy and diseased tissue in the lab so that we can really study the smallest, most specific aspects of disease, uh, not just for scleroderma, but for all autoimmune diseases. We have this idea here at the Benarari Research Institute that if we can figure out the mechanisms that drive one autoimmune disease, we can start to really understand how to correct and reverse and cure many autoimmune diseases. So 10 years from now, what I'm hoping I can be studying are broad immune mechanisms that have implications uh, for not just scleroderma, but for a whole litany of, of really uh, deadly autoimmune diseases. If you had unlimited resources, what problem oh, would God, you want to this solve? Question. <laughs> this, is an, this is an impossible question. This incredible technological work, this innovative work that we're doing uh, is also very expensive work. And I've spent time advocating for science to uh, politicians and people that control the budget. And what's really important is that when we fund these discoveries, when we fund these technologies, we increase our capacity to help people with so many different types of diseases. So what would be excellent with an unlimited amount of resources is to be able to ask the biggest, widest sweeping questions and to be able to dig into the, the finest aspects of single cell biology to understand what's happening, not just in the skin, but across any organ uh, throughout the entire body. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the important work being supported through our peer-reviewed research grants program. We're incredibly grateful to our team of investigators for the work they do to discover the cause, understand the mechanism, and overcome scleroderma forever. The National Scleroderma Foundation is the leading nonprofit supporter of peer-reviewed research in the country. Since our founding in 1998, the foundation has committed over $30 million to scleroderma research. The need to accelerate the pace of discovery in scleroderma is urgent, and we're proud of our leadership role in advancing scientific innovation. Our program prioritizes scientific merit and provides funding for both early career and established investigators. By leveraging the integrity of the peer review process, we can ensure that we are supporting the most impactful science in the scleroderma research community. And when you invest in the Foundation's research program, you can ensure that your resources are being carefully stewarded every step of the way. Thank you for your support of our research programs, and thank you to our investigators for making a difference in the lives of people living with scleroderma.